Hey guys, this is George from Diamond Yard Sports Cards. I'm here to do a 200 subscriber response for uh, Jeremy, Base1986. Jeremy, uh, I like your channel uh, very much. You have a lot of really good content, especially uh, about the 80s, about uh, it's a lot of Mets stuff. Um, you just picked up a Hank Aaron All-Star card. I think that's very cool. Uh, congratulations on 200 subscribers. Uh, I look forward to any future video, all your future videos that you're going to have. In the spirit of 1986, um, we're getting ready to go to Long Beach Show, and here's a 86 Fleer Miniatures. So I'm going to crack these and see what I can submit to PSA. Um, I figured that'd be a cool thing to, to look at here with uh, it being Jeremy's subscriber contest and 1986 being uh, his part of his name. But anyway, uh, so here we go. I'm going to go through a couple uh, shout outs and then talk about he wanted to know the pull uh, that we like the most or, or uh, our best pull. Mine is not the most valuable, but it's, it's one of my favorite cards of all time. And then our favorite set. So here we go. Okay, so here's Jeremy's page, all his cool videos. Uh, shout outs. Wanted to give a shout out to 3000 Hitman. 3000 Hitman has a little bit over 200 subscribers. I know we we're supposed to do under 200, but he's just barely over. And he's got great content. Um, he goes through sets, um, and he you can see he's got a Clemente here. What's in the box? Um, I would encourage everybody to subscribe to him. He's got a ton of sets, 77, 78, just keeps going through set after set um, of really neat stuff. Uh, and they've got a great baseball collection, autographed baseballs. Um, so I was really happy to, to come across him. Then another YouTuber um, who I actually see at the Long Beach show, JR Frank Specie. He uh, submits tons of cards to PSA at the Long Beach show. He's got uh, some cool content here. He had a giveaway winner, WWF autographs, all kinds of amazing unopened stuff uh, that he has. So uh, JR, Frank, I wanted to give you a shout out as well. Uh, guys, please check him out. He's got a great channel. Um, so the best pull that I can think of is not necessarily, not necessarily the most expensive pull that I've ever had. I pulled this card a long time ago, uh, and it was in probably the early 90s. I was doing a card show, and uh, that guy had some 81 Donners packs. And I pulled this Best Hitters, Carew and Brett. And then I eventually had it submitted to PSA years later. I love this card. I think this card is just one of the coolest cards. It's, you know, kind of that idea of having two superstars on one card had gone away for a long time. And at the time, in 1981, these guys were at the top, uh, Brett was at the top of his game, and Carew had won uh, batting titles. I mean, Brett had, Brett would go on to win another batting title, and then he would become the only man to win three batting titles in three different decades. And Carew, as you can see here, won four in a row from 72 to 75, and seven overall batting titles. I just love this card, I think it's fantastic. Um, and it might not be the most expensive pull, but it is very neat to me. So, favorite set. Going through the sets, I was thinking about um, all the different types of sets that we, we love. I, I predominantly do post-war, so I like the 41 play ball a lot, 48 Lee, 49 Bowman, uh, 50 Bowman. You can just go on and on. 60 tops is fantastic. Um, many of the 56 tops, 55 tops, 54 tops. But for me, my favorite is I'm going to make this little showcase of 72 tops. 72 tops, to me, just the colors pop. Uh, I love the style of the card. Uh, the Coming out of the 60s, kind of the way that the, the top is there and the Cardinals. The backs have a little cartoon and all the statistics. Um, and they have different types of cards. That's, this is just, you know, this is a Lou Brock. It's a nice Lou Brock. And so many Hall of Famers. And maybe would-be Hall of Famers, like Garvey. Um, you know, you got Richie Allen and, and a lot of other guys that probably should be considered for the Hall. This Garvey is a second year, and this is a high number, so it's a little bit more expensive. I mean, it's so expensive in a six. I had this when I was a kid, this Garvey. I just got it graded because I like the card. Um, but you get all this information, and that style, and the colors, and the photos are fantastic. Um, and they also had a traded 
series. And so you get Joe Morgan here who went, you know, the big red machine. Um, and this traded, it doesn't actually say the team. It just says traded in Joe Morgan. He's in the Reds uniform. Uh, I believe he was on the Astros in his other issue. It's earlier in the set. Um, you have other players that, again, potentially should be in the Hall of Fame, like Mr. Rose. And then you also have in-action cards. So we'll have a lot of the best players, like Rose, Clemente, um, Aaron Mays, you, Carew. You've got in-action poses. And then there was a, a Yastrzemski, uh, got a Carl Yastrzemski puzzle that you'd put together from those. Um, I also am a big fan of 72 because it's the year I was born. Uh, here's my favorite player, Carew, and this is another high number. Uh, again, the colors just pop on this. Um, you've got so many stars and Hall of Famers and all these cool batting poses. I mean, right here, you've got Aaron, you've got Yastrzemski, and, uh, you know, it's just the colors, the way that the Red Sox, the Braves, stands out, comes at you in that three-dimensional kind of style. Um, all their lifetime statistics. Um, last two cards here, Mays. And Clemente. And that Clemente card, to me, is one of the best cards of him. Just because of the throwing the ball up, kind of, you know, looking at it, thinking. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful ball player. So, guys, I appreciate you watching. Jeremy, congratulations on all those, on the 200 subscribers. I see you're already up to 240. Um, and if you haven't checked out or started to collect the 72 top set, I would encourage that. And keep collecting.